Hey guys, today we are looking at three new construction properties in Tuscaloosa County. All three of these are gonna be under $250,000. So I wanna show you what you can get still at an affordable price in Tuscaloosa County. It's November of 2024 right now, and we're seeing some prices even going down a little bit right now. And so we're gonna show you three properties, show you what you can get for 250 or under, if you're looking to still buy a home in the Tuscaloosa area, still want it brand new, still want to have a builder warranty, but not break the bank. So I'm Phil Duke Jr. Uh, I'm a broker with First Class Real Estate here locally in the local area. And if you're thinking about buying, thinking about moving to Tuscaloosa, please reach out to me, okay? Uh, I'm talking to people every day. People are reaching out on the YouTube channel and I would love to have a quick conversation with you. You can schedule a video chat with me anytime. And if you do decide to come into town, look at properties, or just do it virtually, uh, which is another option, you'll be working with me, all right? I'm not gonna be passing you off to another agent. I'm not gonna pass you off to my assistant. It's gonna be me and you from beginning to end. So let's go ahead and let's get started and take a look at this first one here today. All right, house number one. This is a three bedroom, two bath in Sandy Ridge subdivision. This is in a great, uh, a great school zone, big Sandy elementary school zone. And there's a lot of vacant lots in here. This is gonna be a big neighborhood. And, and this row here and this back row right here is something that this builder tried. Uh, and they're having some success with it, building houses with no garage, all right? Most people that I've worked with over years don't actually park their cars in garages. All right, you can see these people are, are doing okay. Most people use their garages for storage. Very few people that I meet that I work with who are selling their house actually park their car in the garage. So this builder decided, hey, times are tough, inflation is high. Let's cut the garages out and give people an affordable home. Let's see if, if that would help people be able to afford a home and so this three bedroom two bath home brand new is listed for 224 850 under 225. let's go ahead and let's go take a walk i've got my helpers here today y'all wave at the camera hi they're going to be walking us through and helping us all right as you can see all right brand new nice looking shutters nice looking siding let's go ahead and take a look inside okay so as we walk in here, you walk into a um, to a living room and kitchen combined, okay? So living room on one side, you can see there's the front door there. Wave, guys. Okay? This house does come with some premium features. These blinds are included. They're not always included on new construction homes. And so I'm on the other side of the living room here. Pretty good, obviously fully open space here. Okay, stainless appliances come with this property. Again, 224, 850 comes with everything that you see here today. Okay, nice looking dishwasher. Okay, these countertops are granite, okay? So that's a premium feature that you don't normally get in this price range, pretty rare actually. Stainless stove, microwave, nice looking uh, refrigerator there. Can you boys show me the pantry over here? Yes. Okay. All right. And you get a pantry. A lot of houses in this square footage range and in this price range, you don't get, you don't get that, okay? Let's go check out the bedrooms. All right, can you show me these closets right here before we get to the bedrooms? Mm -hmm. Okay, so in addition to the pantry, okay, this is just storage for the HVAC. So you could put a little bit of storage in there. Maybe your dust dustpan, maybe your, your broom, something like that. Okay, this is gonna be your laundry closet, okay? And the washer and dryer is included. Again, 224, 850 and you get the washer and dryer. That's pretty good. Yes. Okay. Let's go in here. Bedroom number one. Okay. Carpet inside here. Can y'all open up the closet there for me? Again, 
the blinds are included. And that is, what do y'all think about that closet? Way bigger than ours. It's bigger than the one you have at home? I don't know about that. Maybe the same size. Yeah, but it's a good size closet, right? Mm -hmm. You could fit a lot of stuff in there. Okay. Okay. Bathroom number one. Can you open up this yes. closet for me too? Another closet. So for a house of this size, there's a lot of closet space in here. Okay. Bathroom number one. Just a single vanity here. Okay. Again, the same vinyl plank flooring throughout. And again, just your standard fiberglass, uh, you know, shower tub combo, but it looks good. There's plenty of storage. Looks really clean. I really like it, to be honest with you. Vents uh, in, in here as well. So, yep, vent in there. Some people like that. What about this closet right here? Did we look at that one? Oh, it's the same as that. Okay, so that's the water heater. So water heater storage right there. Okay, let's go back. This is the pr primary, uh, or the owner suite here. Let's look at this bedroom next. Very similar to the one up front. Again, getting the blinds here and that closet. Would you guys say that's the same closet as the other bedroom? Yes. Okay. All right. Good job. Thank you, my helpers. Y'all are doing a great job. Thanks. Okay. Before we go to that owner suite there, let's go out here to the back real quick. Back door here goes out to a patio. Again, this is not a feature that you're gonna get on all of these properties. Uh, this property also has, has this gutters property also already in place, okay? So that's another premium feature and this concrete slab patio is something that is not always included with builders that we work with. You can see some people have added privacy fences to their yards. That's an additional upgrade. Does not come with this property, but it is an option. Uh, or it could be an option that you do, you know, after you, you close and after you move in. All right, guys, let's go to the last bedroom here. This is the, the owner suite, okay? A good bit bigger. Then the others, again, you're still getting the blinds included. And let's check out the bathroom, okay? So a big stand-up shower, okay? No tub in here, but you do have a tub in the other bathroom. Um, yeah, the other bathroom. So for families with, with children, you know, we've got a, a, a young one at home. Uh, having a tub is a big deal. You do still have a tub in the other bathroom. Um, this is, again, just a, a fiberglass. Uh, this is not tile, but it looks really good. This is one of the better ones that I have seen. Um, and it's big, and there's plenty of storage. Over here, you're getting your double sink vanity. Double sinks over here. Let's check out the closets, okay? Okay, closet number one. All right, just like a linen closet there. Thank you, Mr. William. Okay, all right, your toilet here, and then go ahead and open it all the way for me, buddy. And then a big walk-in closet here, okay? This is a big closet, okay? All right, and that is it for house number one, Sandy Ridge, three bedroom, two bath, no garage, okay, 224. 850. Would love to hear your comments below about whether the garage is a deal breaker for you or not. Let's go on to the next one. All right, house number two. This is a three bedroom, two bath, but it comes with the garage. It's about $5,000 more than the last one we just looked at. It's got a little bit deeper lot, so more parking. All right, this is a long driveway that you don't normally get in houses in this price range. This one is almost finished. I think you'll be able to at least see kind of what we're getting with. And this is a big neighborhood. A lot of houses in this neighborhood. Still some new ones coming up on this side. There's gonna be more built back here in the back. 
and there's a whole bunch already built back behind this so this is a big neighborhood again five thousand dollars more you get the garage but let's see what else might come with this house so three bedroom two bath same elementary school zone this is literally right around the corner from the last neighborhood that we were in let's check this one out okay my helpers Hi. have already gotten the lights on for me thank you guys let's walk through okay once again like the last one you walk into the living room and it's a big open living and kitchen area back here in the back we have some appliances right here that haven't been installed yet um we do have a big nice window right here in the very front okay can you know recess lighting in here smooth ceilings i like the smooth ceilings darker uh you know vinyl plank floors in here and in here you're not getting granite this is not granite okay uh it still looks good but it's not granite okay it's not a premium uh granite or quartz but it does still look pretty good um it does have again everything in here is going to be new uh microwave is going to be going in here that's going to be the stove uh right there i don't know for sure if a fridge is coming that's usually negotiable on these kind of things um so no fridge in here as of right now you do have a pantry here okay we'll go out back in just a minute let's go check out some of the bedrooms okay okay this is a split level floor plan so two bedrooms on this side of the property one bedroom over here let's check out the two over here first can y'all open these closets for me all right, closets are a big deal, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so a good looking closet there. William, can you open up this one for me? Thank you, my helper. Okay, leave it open. Leave it open for me, buddy. All right, another good closet here. So bathroom here in the middle, you've got a closet on either side. Let's go to this front bedroom first. If y'all can get that closet open for me. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. Similar size to the last one. Uh, this one you're getting a one door closet. I'd say this closet is a little bit smaller than what we had in the last one, but still good size for a for a, a, a bedroom. It's a good size. It's standard for our area. Nothing to be complained about. Okay, let's go in bedroom number two. Very similar size, okay. Okay, thank you for opening that up for me, guys. You're good size bed, good size closet. Again, just the single door, but it does go back on either side. Uh, I do not see blinds installed on this one. Remember, the last one had blinds, it had gutters, it had the appliance package, and it had the patio, uh, the concrete patio already poured back in the back. Okay. All right, let's go over here. Can y'all get this door open for me? Right here. Okay, this is gonna be the laundry room. So this house has a laundry room. The last house had a laundry closet, if you remember. This one actually has its own laundry room. So dryer's gonna go there, washer's gonna go there. You got storage up above. You got room here to put things. So for some people, a laundry closet might be a deal breaker. And then this is gonna be the owner's suite here. This is larger than the last one, wouldn't you say, guys? Oh, yes, this bedroom is larger than the, than the owner's suite in the last bedroom. Let's check out the bathroom, okay? In here, just a single vanity. In the last one, you had a double. This one just has one sink, okay? Very similar shower tub combo to what's in the other bathroom. And if you remember the guest bathroom in the last house looked very similar to this, okay? You do have some storage here. You do have some storage here. You have your toilet here. And then instead of a, a walk-in traditional closet, you have a closet area right here off of the bathroom. I actually like this. Um, 
everything is right there. Not as big as what we had in the last property, but still a really, really good size, okay? Let's go off that back door, guys. Let's show them the backyard. Yep, let's, you're right, William. Let's show them the garage first. Since that's a big differentiating factor between this house and the last house, again, for $5,000 more, you're getting a garage. This one doesn't look like it's been totally finished yet. There's still some painting that needs to be done. You do have a pull down stairs, so you throw your Christmas tree and whatever other items you don't want in the house up there, your water heater there. I believe that's actually the exact same size and brand of water heater that was in the last one. Electrical panel here. So would love to hear your comments. Is the garage a deal breaker for you or not? Let's walk out here to the back and we will be finished with this property on to number three. Okay, can y'all open that for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it does have a storm door, does have a very small little patio right here, but remember the last one had the full patio off of the back. Okay, and you can see back here behind you, all right, when I was talking about the houses behind that have already been finished, that's where they are right there. So this is house number two, 2299 for a three bedroom, two bath with a garage. Let's go on to the next. All right guys, house number three. This has actually been the model home for this subdivision. Same subdivision as house number two. Uh, this has been the model home. This is where they bring you in to do your paperwork when you come in to buy one of these properties and pick out your options. This one is going to be staged. You're going to get to see what it looks like. This one is going to be available soon for $249. Normally, they convert this back to a garage right here. Uh, that's, you know, an option out there. Um, but I wanted you to see what one of these houses could look like with furniture, decorating, everything in it. And this one will be available soon for $249. So let's take a look and see what this one looks like. My helpers have already got the lights on. Hey, guys. Hey. All right, what do y'all think about this one? Yeah, I like this one. Wow. Looks really good with furniture already in it. Let's go down here and check out this kitchen. Living room area. You can see, I mean, the decorating really makes a huge difference, right, guys? Yes, sir. Okay. Stainless appliances. Again, you know, these are not granite or quartz countertops, but they look really good. These appliances look really good. Stainless, stainless fridge, nice looking sink. Again, you know, furniture makes a big deal. This would traditionally be your, your laundry area here before you go into the garage. Again, this is set up as an office right now, but this would be the garage area in the property. Guys, can you show me that right there? Okay, gotta undo the, do the top. goes out to a nice patio, a covered patio area out here off the back. Again, already has shrubbery in place. Okay. Nice looking living room. Again, the decorations really make these things stand out, okay? So let's go, uh, let's go up here to the front. Let's check out these two bedrooms first. So bedroom number one. If y'all can help me with the closets, boys. Okay. Again, that's a double bed, maybe a queen size bed in there. Again, same closets that was in the last one. Good size. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Again, this one's set up like an office. You know, a lot of people are using their uh, extra bedrooms now as offices, so it's not uncommon to see a bedroom set up like that. But with furniture in here, it gives you a little bit better idea of how much room you actually have. And then let's go to the guest bath, okay? Again, just like the other one, just a single vanity, toilet, and then your shower tub combo, all right? Now let's go check out the owner suite. The last bedroom that we have here 
see what it looks like. Already ready to go. Again, same vinyl plank flooring throughout here. All right. Really looks good with the furniture. Would you guys stay in this bedroom? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he said if there was a bunk bed. Big walk-in closet, okay? So again, for $249,000, you can still get a really nice house. Brand new. You can put some good decorating, some good furniture in it. Make it look good getting single sink vanity in here. Your toilet here. Your shower tub combo in here. So you do have a a tub in both bathrooms in here and then just more storage. So what do y'all think? Was this the best one? Yes. All right, guys, that's three new construction properties in Tuscaloosa County for under 250,000. Let me know what you think in the comments below.